great I am. Isn't that wonderful? I, my church has reached the world. But no, no, no. They said the problem is Pepsi, a false cola in their mind. <laughs> it's not the real thing in their mind. Is spreading in third world countries three times faster than Coke. And it got them so disturbed that a false cola was going into the hands of people instead of the real thing. That they said, we have got to get off our blessed assurance and get a Coke in the hand of every man before they get a false cola. And so they said, we don't care how it gets there. We'll send glass bottles. We'll send cans. We'll send plastic bottles. You know, I can see, it's the same. It's, it's the same. In, you know, there's a formula in Atlanta, a secret formula they have locked up in a safe that nobody can figure out. There is a mysterious formula to Coca-Cola that they cannot duplicate. You know, there is a mysterious, there's a mystery to the gospel. You can put it up against Buddha. You can put it up against Islam. You can put it, and there is a mystery to the gospel of Jesus Christ that cannot explain. Like one old timer said, it's better felt than telt. Yeah. How many of you have experienced the mystery of the... But the, you know, and this is the original container. That, and that's the same formula. It's just being presented different. Now, this is the original, and I can almost hear the first church of the, of the glass. <laughs> Bless God. We were the first. And if you're going to get this product, this superior real thing product out, it needs to be packaged in a bottle. This is how my mother received it. <laughs> This is how my grandmother received it. But here comes can. Oh, hold on. Hold on. You know, the can church. The first church of the frigid air. You've been there. Ushers that look like pallbearers. If they shake your hand, rigor mortis runs up your elbow. You know who... You, the dead in Christ sitting in the pews and at exactly 12 o'clock the grave gives up her dead. And everything's canned. The music is canned. Everything's programmed. And it will say this is the only way to distribute this wonderful real thing product. It must be canned. But man, here comes a plastic bottle. It jumps around on the stage. It raises its hands. It has laser beams and smoke bombs going off. Same ingredient, same ingredient, still the real thing, just different methods of distribution. Jesus said, Jesus said, go into all the world. That's where, preach the gospel, that's what. To every creature, that's who. But notice he never said how. Because every generation has to brail their culture and figure out how do I reach my city, my neighborhood, my area for Jesus Christ. When I first went to the church in Gainesville, it was so traditional. I had 120 people it was a church that was 50 years old. Um, you know, Jehoshaphat, the Bible said, put the praise team out on the front line. I wanted to put my whole music team on the front line, and I wanted somebody to shoot them. It was, it was bad. It was bad. They sung the old, y'all don't even know what I'm talking about, the old conventional books. No, you don't know. You don't even know. You young people make me sick. You've, you've come in here with guitars and stuff. We, we, didn't, we couldn't have all that stuff. And I, I never will forget, I, they voted on everything. Everything. And it was terrible. It was a terrible process. And um, 
I remember I called my dad, who was a pastor, and he's gone on to be with the Lord. And I said, Dad, I just want to move the piano. I, I'm trying to fix this place up a little bit. I just want to move the piano from the right side of the stage over to the left side. And he, being the wise preacher that he was, said, Son, let me tell you how to do it. Never forget his advice. He said, if you don't want to split your church, move it three inches a Sunday. When you're addicted to the ministry, I was so addicted when I went to Gainesville. I didn't have money. I didn't have lights. I didn't have cameras. I didn't have people. I didn't have auditorium. All I had was an addiction. Something inside of me and my wife who's sitting right down there said, we can make a difference in this town. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm addicted to reaching people. And I've got to reach these people in this little city of Gainesville, Georgia, the poultry capital of the world. I'm going to reach them. The addiction will overcome the lack of money. The addiction will overcome whatever comes at you. When you're addicted, nothing can stop you. And don't get discouraged if it doesn't happen quickly. I read something about the, you probably heard this illustration. Now, I just want to say this to all the young ministers here. Ministry is a four-letter word. Work. And when you're addicted, you just keep doing it. And you just keep doing it. One time I felt like leaving. It seemed like everything was going wrong. And the Lord took me to Psalms 23. And as I read it, he smote my heart. And it said, it said, I'll make you to lie down in green pastures. And if I've ever heard the Lord speak to me in my heart, he said, if you'll lay down, I'll green things up. He said, as long as you keep jumping the fence, running, saying, oh, there's got to be a better opportunity somewhere else because this place is a preacher's graveyard. I got to get out of here. The Lord said, if you'll lay down, I'll green it up. Let me give you the one word formula God gave me. And he said, if you'll do this, your church will grow. When I had 100 people. Here it is. Are you ready for this? Stay. Turn to somebody and say, stay. Stay. The Chinese bamboo plant, you plant it and nothing happens for five years. For five years, all you do is put the seed in the dirt and you sit back and watch it and nothing ever happens. But suddenly in the fifth year, it will grow 90 feet in six weeks. If you're in the Chinese bamboo business, you just don't give up. And if you're in the ministry, you just don't give up. I love that snail because I believe the zebra went zipping by and the lion went leaping by, but that old snail is my favorite because that snail said, all I know is God told me that that door couldn't close till I got on it. And I may not be getting there as close and fast as everybody else, but you know what? I'm getting there. Only by persistence did the snail make it onto Noah's Ark. Stay. I wrote a song. It hasn't been nominated for a Grammy, but I wrote it.